Hi folks, it's Philip Andrews here from the Elements team and welcome along to this quick tour of the Premier Elements 11 user interface. First of all, let's look at the welcome screen. You can see it's a new design and we still have the two main workspaces available to you from the welcome screen. We've got the organizer workspace and the video editor workspace. Let's jump into the organizer to start off with. So the organizer is the place where we can manage our video files and images and audio recordings. You'll notice immediately that it has a completely new interface. In particular, you see we now have three different sections to the interface. On the left hand side, we have albums and folders, and these are the import folders where we have imported our images, videos, and recordings from. In the center, we have our media. We can look at individual media or groups of media here. And on the right hand side, we have our tags and information panel where we can get information about our video clips, we can also put in things like captions and notes as well. Let's jump over to the editor space now and we can do that by just clicking on video editor from the bottom of the screen like this and we can add our videos in by selecting them in the organizer space first and then bringing them across to the video editor space. Let's jump back to the previous version of Premiere Elements and have a look at the interface for the editor workspace and then let's look at the differences that are now in Premiere Elements 11. You notice immediately that we have a different UI here as well and we have two different editing rooms. So we have the quick editing room which we're in at the moment with drag and drop convenience to this timeline that you can see here and we also have the expert editing room. The expert editing room provides you with much more control and sophistication when you're working with your projects. Around the screen itself you notice we have the option to add media here and this is a great way to get your media into Premiere Elements. We also have project assets if we're working in the expert mode. Over on the right hand side we have another drop down menu and this is for publishing and sharing. In particular it's worth looking at the online options here which gives you quick ways to share your video clips and your finished videos up to places like YouTube on the net or Facebook. Along the bottom we have a range of action bars. You can see we have Instant Movie, we have Tools, here you can find Adjustments, Audio Mixer, Freeze Frame, Movie Menu and a range of different other ones. Transitions are here as well and a dedicated action bar for titles and text. We have an Effects action bar where you can drag and drop different styles and effects directly onto your video clips. And we have a special action bar just for music as well. Premiere Elements comes with a range of audio tracks that which you can add to your videos. And finally we have graphics here as well. Along the right hand side of the workspace we have the adjust panel and there's a range of different adjustment types that you can work with here and the choices are slightly different when you're working in the quick editing room. Once you've applied those effects to your clips you can go and edit the settings used for those effects in the applied effects panel. So that's a quick tour of the new user interface for both the organizer and the Premiere Elements editor workspaces.